as someone who has been on this earth for two decades now, I think I know a lot. I'm totally kidding. But I thought it would be fun today to build a house, but every room is a different decade. In The Sims 4, obviously. So we are here in Potter's Splay. And obviously for this challenge, we are going to need our handy dandy wheel of names. I think before we even build the house, I want to spin for the outside so that we can build a house around that kind of decade. The decades that we have are all the way from 19,000 to 2020. But without further ado, let's spin for the outside. The 1970s. Okay, so I'm seeing a little bit of a theme here. Most of them are one level homes like this one here. This is a ranch style though. I'm seeing this one here. I think this could be really easy to recreate. It looks like a brick on the bottom here and then just a regular siding. This one's white, but we could do whatever we like. But I think I'm going to take some inspiration from this house. First, I want to start off with a little box. I don't want this house to be ginormous. I'm thinking like maybe one or two bedrooms max. I'm going to build it a little bit over here. If you couldn't tell from my videos, I'm still relatively new to building in The Sims 4. I'm still learning. And one thing that I am learning is really hard is to gauge the actual size of the house when you're trying to build it. Anybody else struggle with this? Let me know in the comments. Roofing's looking pretty simple, just straight across. And then this little garage over here also has a regular wolf, a regular roof, but it's actually slightly lowered. So I'm going to do that. It also does go over a little bit. I actually want to move it and be a little bit closer to the front of the house because I want to do a little driveway here with a core. However, the house that I'm looking at has this like under part like so. So I think I'm just going to go with this like red brick here. I'm going to separate it by a pillar and then we're going to choose our siding. You guys, I'm getting better at not saying sliding. I think I'm just going to go with this white siding here. We're basically just mimicking the house at this point. And the roof is actually like a light gray. I don't know if that is something we have. We don't have gray, but we have this like blackish color, which I think I'm going to go with. Now, we obviously don't actually have garages in The Sims 4, but let's see what we have. We do have this. I really wish it was red though, but it is a garage door nonetheless. Worst comes to worst we can always change it but for now I'm gonna keep it their door kind of looks like this but I don't know if I want that door I'm pretty sure they have like a screen door in front of their entryway door so I think that's why it looks like what it looks like but I'm just gonna do a little door with a window like so I'm also noticing that actually the roof kind of goes like so and then they have another pillar right there so I am also gonna follow suit for windows they just have some pretty standard I'd say like suburb urban windows. I'm just going to get a couple of windows with some shutters. <gasps> These ones are perfect. Oh my gosh. This house was literally made to be built in The Sims 4. Seems like they have a couple windows like over here, but we will work on getting more windows later. But I think the front of our house is coming along. I do want to work on our little driveway here though. Just going to add this concrete all the way to the end here. And it seems like they have like a little stone path that's like coming off of the driveway. Way, so I'm gonna do that with some terrain paint. I think I'm just gonna go with this little cobbled together one from the base game. I also find when using terrain paint, it's better to start off small and then build as I go. As for landscaping, honestly, this house looks pretty bare. However, I think I'm just gonna add just some basic landscaping, maybe a couple bushes, nothing too fancy. Maybe like so, add some bushes over here by the driveway and maybe like a small tree could be kind of cool. Okay, I like how that's looking. I do want to add a little debug car, I think. The car this family has in their driveway, at least from the picture that I'm referencing, has kind of like a square look to it. So I think I'm going to go with this one here. Also just going to add us a little mailbox right here and a little porch light because why not? And I think that is the outside of our 1970s house all complete. I'm going to quickly work out a floor plan and then we'll get to decorating the inside. Okay, off camera, I put together our little floor plan, living room, kitchen and slash dining room, bathroom, hallway, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom is kind of the vibe that we're going for here. I think I'm going to spin for this entryway, but I think I'm going to combine it with the upstairs hallway just because this room is so small that I feel like it would be unfair. Let's spin the 1990s. I think I'm going to take this picture as our inspiration. I'm seeing lots of like orangey browns and stucco. I'm also seeing a lot of florals, 
tools, kind of like grandma core-esque kind of things. I think I want to start with like a white stucco. I really wish we had like a popcorn wallpaper, but we do not have anything of the sort. So we're just going to do this white wallpaper. I'm going to bring that to the upstairs hallway as well. As for the floors, they're pretty orangey woods. So I think I'm going to try my best to stick with that. I think I'm going to go with something like this. Sorry, let me get rid of the grid and something like so. Let me see if I can find a picture of some stairs. Ah, I'm seeing carpeted stairs and I'm also seeing a railing. So maybe instead of this little like half wall stitch, we could do a railing. We'll just do this white one. We don't have one that's perfect, unfortunately. So we'll just do this one. And we don't have carpeted stairs in The Sims 4, which honestly is kind of surprising. I think something like that could be okay. A little brown side table like so would be perfect. I would love to get some like grandma-esque looking pictures on the wall as well if possible. I feel like this picture of a chicken is giving grandma core. I'm gonna add these like empty family portrait type pictures on the stairs just because I feel like that makes sense. Especially like right here, over here as well. And you know, if you decide to play in this house yourself, you can fill it up with all the pictures of your Sims family. But for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it blank. For the curtains, they seem also grandma core. There's no windows in this room. So if we're gonna add curtains, I feel like they'd have to go on the windows up here. I feel like I wanna bring in some color, like maybe a blue or something. By the way, these rooms aren't going to be 100% accurate. If you grew up in any of these decades, which I'm sure a lot of you haven't grown up in most of these decades, but if you're a fan of the design of those decades or the vibe, I'm sorry if I don't 100% get it right. This is just what I've seen from pictures. Yeah, let's throw a little pop of blue. Why not? I'm seeing a couple of things where it's like a stool with a plant on it. So I think I'm gonna add that like so. And then it's like a flower or something like so. Just sitting on top of it. I don't know if that's a 90s thing. I have no clue. Not not a single one. Another thing that I'm seeing in this build is there's a lot of old timey carpets that kind of look like this. I don't really know how to fit them in though. I might have to just like do like a small one like so. Okay, cute. I'm also thinking that I don't want this chicken picture. I'm thinking I want to put a mirror here. I don't know if that's the vibe of the 90s, but that's what I'm going to do because that feels right to me. I'm going to put a little plant on the stairs here and I'm going to put some flowers here as well and maybe just a little bit of clutter i love the male clutter for some reason it's just my favorite thing i'm gonna also put some shoes underneath this little table here also gonna put this little coat rack and i think that might be it for our 1990s entryway pretty basic we don't even really have that much space to add much here i promise the next rooms will be better let's move on to let's do a kitchen slash dining room what are we gonna do for our kitchen slash dining room the 1940s <gasps> Oh, I am obsessed. Look at this. <gasps> Stop. This is so stinking cute. Are you kidding me? Look at all the fun color. Oh my gosh. This is the best case scenario. I don't know how well we're going to be able to execute it in The Sims 4, but I am going to try my hardest. I might separate up the room. For now though, let's just keep it as all one room. So for the wallpapers, we need to do a fun color. I saw a ton of green. So I'm thinking we do, that's not fun enough. I need like a bright green. These greens aren't giving the color I want. I think I might go for this color. For the floors here, I'm seeing like, it's just like a linoleum. Should I just do this like limestone? Maybe. I don't know if that's the vibe. It kind of looks like the vibe. I'm seeing a lot of red as well. So I'm excited to incorporate some of that. The way that the kitchen is set up is interesting. Okay, obviously like window in front of the sink. And then like the oven is like kind of in a weird corner. I don't know. Thinking we start it here so that we can put sink in the middle. And then maybe we could just like throw the oven over here and then have the fridge like over here. I don't know. Let's try to plan it out. I'm thinking white for the counters. These counters from Parenthood are honestly kind of what we got going on over here. A little white sink. The fridge kind of looks like this. I'm seeing like fun colored fridges, but I don't know if that's something that I want to do. I like the idea of the red fridge, but I'm afraid that it doesn't match the vibe that we have going on in 
here. I feel like I should just go for a regular white one. And they kind of look like this. They're kind of like circular or like rounded, I guess. Should we just do the red fridge? Because like, tell me that isn't that fridge. Okay, maybe if we want to do the red fridge, we should do uh, yellow walls instead of green. I like that better. And I'm thinking the stove. I don't even know. This it, It's set up so strange. Maybe the stove should go like on this wall here. I feel like that's kind of how it is. It's just kind of like random. I don't know. And the stoves just kind of look like this. They're really nothing special. And they don't have a range hood. There's just cabinets above it. There's no range hood. So maybe no range hood. I think actually maybe I might put the fridge here. And then I think I might put like a little island in the middle. Because there's this like intricate cabinetry thing going on. And I think I want to follow suit. And the stove is just on its own. The stove literally has nothing next to it. So please tell me that we have matching cabinets for parenthood. Ooh, actually they kind of look like this. I don't think there is like too much cabinetry going on above the sink. So I think I'm going to leave it bare and just leave the cabinetry like so. And then they kind of have this like retro, uh, retro, it's not retro for the times, I guess, but they have this like table thing in the middle that's kind of like a counter, but kind of like a table. It looks like a diner table in my opinion, which I don't really think we have anything like that in The Sims 4. I might be able to make it with a counter though. I think like so. Is it weird that it's a different color? I might try to make it with this. I feel like that makes more sense. I wish it wasn't just all cabinets, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. Bring in some more of that red with some chairs. Maybe even like a red rug could be cool. I'm also gonna add this like china cupboard. Size it down a little bit because for some reason it is ginormous and add that over by the stove. Maybe it'll make it look a little bit less weird. And the curtains are all very like light and fluffy. I feel like it's the word I'm looking for. Almost like this. Oh, this is perfect. What kind of lights do they have? I'm not really seeing. They don't have like dangling lights. They have like just I guess pot lights. So I guess I'll just add another pot light. Gonna add a little garbage can. Gonna add this little dish rack here. I'm gonna add this little fruit ladder but I think I would like to put it in the middle. So I'm gonna put it on a separate counter, size that one down, and then just slide it into the middle of the counter. And I feel like we need something to go on this wall. I think I would like to find something like this or it's like a little abstract. This could be a contestant. Let's see if we have anything else though. Yeah, I think this is our best bet, honestly, when it comes to abstract looking artwork. I'm also seeing a couple of like cool vases and stuff like that. So I'm gonna add in a couple of little pieces of artwork and without making it too, too cluttered, here is our 1990s kitchen all complete. I think we captured the vibe on a tame level with the restrictions of Sims 4. I did just now realize that we cannot access the bathroom. So that's a bit of an issue, if I do say so myself. Oh, can a Sim walk through there? We'll play test it later, but I'm gonna add a little door. Can this door open? Who knows? Next, we're going to be doing the main bathroom. So let's spin the 1910s. Ooh, okay. Old school fancy schmancy. I'm seeing brick. I'm also seeing, what is this called at the top? I'm not really sure, but this like fancy stuff that goes at the top of the walls. I don't know what it's called. Up paneling? I don't know. We're gonna use this as our inspiration. Not too sure they were dabbling with color in the 1910s, but who knows? I could be very wrong. I think I'm just gonna do this like white marble because the floors just look like a shiny something. And I am gonna put a secondary door to this bathroom so that they can access it from the living room as well. I am seeing a pedestal sink. So I definitely wanna add that. I think I might wanna go for this one from the vampire pack because it's giving the vibe of what I'm seeing here. Ooh, the toilet is like the vampire toilet. I don't know where I wanna put it. I don't really want it to be blue. I guess we'll do gold. Do I want it right in front? Maybe I'll put it in this corner. I guess we'll do the gold as well for the walls, which I almost forgot about. I think I wanna use this wallpaper because it has that like paneling stuff at the top that I was talking about. And the mirror is either like round, or just like fancy old looking, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we'll continue with our little like gold using all the stuff from the vampire pack. No rugs. I am seeing a tub. We could, I guess, maybe we could fit a tub, but the question is, should we? I'm also starting to think I want to put this all on the same wall. Yeah, I feel like that's a bit better. The only thing that's throwing me off 
is that that's not how the bathrooms were set up back then. So maybe I should follow suit. I don't know. Mm, I'll just do it both on one side. It just makes more sense for this bathroom. I'll put like a hand towel here, a regular bath towel over here. I am going to change the light. I think I'm going to put some, yeah, like lights like this in here could be cool. Do we have any from the vampire pack? I don't think so. Let's just do these ones. And I'm going to change this light to, it's like this kind of like, it's a pot light, but not, I don't really know how to describe it. It kind of looks like this, but it's a little bit more fancy. It almost looks like this, but that's a little bit too modern, I think. Maybe we just keep with our little wall sconce lights and call it there, honestly. Here is our 1910s bathroom. Let's move on to our living room slash family room. I might even add in another room just because this room is so large, but I guess we'll see. What are we going to get for the living room? The 1950s. Oh, okay. I really like the vibes of this one. I do want to add a fireplace, even though there's no chimney in our house, but like when has that ever mattered for The Sims 4? But I love this like dark green with all this like the purples and the reds and the little coffee table. I'm seeing more dark green over here. Okay, I like this. I think we're going to use this as our inspiration. Let's get us a fireplace. This is kind of what it looks like. It's a little bit more modern than that though. I don't know if we're going to be able to get something that's like perfect. Hmm, maybe I might try to DIY something here. Okay, I think this is as good as we're going to get it. <gasps> Perfect. Oh my gosh, tell me that isn't absolutely perfect. Okay, continuing with this room, I don't know if we have the right color of green. I'm gonna hope that we do. Oh, it's perfect. It's stunning. I love this color of green, this like dark foresty green. It's so pretty. And then I think the floor is carpet. At least that's what I saw. Yeah, it's like a carpet. I'm not seeing any patterns in it, so I'm just gonna do like a beige. Don't think we have a couch that's green or do we? Well, we obviously have a green couch. I just don't know if we have a couch that's like as dark. I mean, that really just looks like the couch that they have though in this picture that I'm referencing. Wow. Okay, maybe we do. <laughs> and then it looks like we have like these red chairs next to like a, a little brown um, table. I think I'm gonna do these little like more modern-esque looking ones to kind of match this couch more. And we have like a little brown side table that goes with it. And there's a coffee table in the middle here. I think I'm going to do this like glass one. This living room's kind of all over the place because I wanted to leave enough room for like a walkway. So I think I'm going to put it there. Actually, I think the chairs and stuff are on like this wall here. So I think I'm going to throw them there. And there's actually like a purple chair that's next to the thing. I'm just going to try to add as many colors as possible because I love the colors. Oh, I think the chair actually kind of looks like this. Do I want to just throw it there? You guys are probably like, what are you doing? I'm I'm just doing what it says to do. I'm just following the vibes. I think I'm gonna do this chair. I feel like it's a little bit more tame. We just have a weird assortment of chairs everywhere, but that's okay. I'm gonna do a lamp as well over here. I also would like to get one on this little side table here. Also gonna put some sort of painting above this couch here. Honestly, that one works. And there's no carpet because the floor is carpet. So do we have like, what are the things called? Those like fire pokey things? Oh, they're literally called fire pokers. Oh, we do have fire pokers. Well, isn't that perfect? Throw that right there. I feel like we should get another painting above the chairs here. That's nice. And curtains. I'm not really seeing any. They seem patterned. So maybe we could find some like cool pattern curtains. Maybe these like green ones. Okay. They also have this like pretty bowl of flowers on the table. So I think I'm going to see if I can find something similar. Honestly, that's pretty similar. And I think that's it for our 1950s living room. Let's finally move on to the upstairs. What should we work on first? I'm thinking the kids bedroom. I'm really hoping we get a good one for this one. The 2010s. I personally grew up in the 2010s, so this is going to be so fun. <gasps> oh, this is so stinking cute. I love this. For a kid's room, this is literally everything I could have dreamed of. <gasps> a pink and green color scheme. I really want to do this so bad. Let's see what we can do. So for the floors, it actually seems like it's like a white tile, weirdly enough, which I don't know if that's actually what I'm going to do. I feel like what would, for me personally, like my bedroom, 
bathroom floor was carpet. So maybe we should do a carpet. I don't know. We could change it later. And the walls are white. Me personally, growing up, my bedroom walls were purple. Uh, fun fact, purple used to be my favorite color. It's still one of my favorite colors, but it is not really my favorite color anymore. Green and pink. Ooh, this bed could be cool. Ooh, but I think I want to do this bed. I wish we had more like fun quilt colors because I really want to do this like green and pink theme. I mean, I guess I could. Maybe we do this bed. I don't know. I guess we'll go with that one for now. I want to get a cool like green desk or something. My vision is not visioning at the moment. The Sims doesn't have the things that I need to make my vision happen. It's making me sad. I think I'm just going to use this like awesome desk from my first pet stuff. And maybe we could pair it with a green chair. I'll bring in some of that green. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add this pink bear. Ooh, this little like monster toy chest could be cool. Ooh, this bookshelf could also be fun. I'm starting to get unsure of the age of the person that lives in this room, but that's okay. I won't ask questions. Definitely need this little rug and we can do this little pink one as well. We should add these little like string lights with the pictures on it. So cute. Oh, the butterflies. Ooh, on this wall could be cool. Green curtains here and then pink curtains over here. So stinking cute. Should we give them a computer? I mean, why not? Might as well give them like a boxy computer like so. And with a little off camera cluttering, here is our 2010s bedroom all complete. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it is very 2010s, but you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Moving on to our second to last room, which is going to be the master bedroom. What are we going to get for the master bedroom? The 1980s. Ooh, okay. Kind of fun, kind of a vibe. These ones are pretty big, so I think I'm going to try to keep it simple. These are teen rooms, but I really like them. I like them better than the adult ones. This one is so fun, like a fun wallpaper. That is so fun. But I'm seeing a theme like funky wallpaper, carpet, and like a metal bed frame. Lots of patterns, quilts, florals. Let's see what I can do. So this room is a bit small, so we're going to have to take that into consideration. I'm going to grab the same rug as we used in the kids' bedroom, and let's find us some fun patterned wallpaper. We could do this as a wallpaper. It's not very fun though but i don't want to do something like this because this is like little kiddish we could do this but the paneling is making me not like it i think i'm gonna do this wallpaper and i'm gonna put the bed this way we need more fun colorful wallpapers this bed is pretty much exactly what the bed frame looks like i am very tempted to bump out this even more even though you can see i've bumped it out once already i guess i'm gonna do it again i am aware that this looks a little funny but i don't want to hear it if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it who cares about the back of the house. Nobody looks at the back of the house anyways. Literally, who cares? Does the pattern on the bed sheet clash with the walls is the question. I don't think so. I feel like the pinks kind of go well together. Let's get a little bedside table. They're just like standard. They don't look any fancy. We could just slap these two on there. Probably give us some more windows than just these two. I kind of want to put like a sofa here or something or like some type of like chair. They kind of all look like this, if I'm being honest. All the windowsills chairs that I'm seeing. Is that like anything that we have? I'm going to put like two chairs instead with like some upholstery or something. If I can find anything like that. I feel like these kind of match the um, bed. And I would like two little lamps there. And they have these like really fancy looking curtains. Like they kind of look like this. I mean, the beige kind of works. I don't know. If you were born in the 80s or know anything about the 80s, is this, is this the vibe? Am I capturing the vibe or am I? not. They don't really seem to have TVs in their rooms. So I think I'm just going to do a dresser and like a mirror is kind of the vibe that I'm seeing. I need like a skinny dresser to go at the end of the bed here. Not the end of the bed, but the wall here. Oh, it's too big. That could work. I could also put that over here. I feel like it might be better space wise to put it over there. Add some clutter and with some off camera cluttering, here is our 1980s bedroom all complete. I think it's okay. I don't think any of these rooms are like 1000% accurate because obviously The Sims 4 does have its limitations, but I think I did a pretty decent job. Moving on to our last and final room, which is going to be our main bathroom. Let's hopefully get a decent one. The 1900s. All the bathrooms in this place probably barely function. I might respin because this bathroom looks literally exactly the same as the one that we just did. So I'm going to give us another spin. The 1930s. Ooh. 
Ooh. I like this vibe. This like green and mint pink vibe. Ooh, these like fun wallpapers. Okay, I can get behind this. So fun. I love this. Ooh, I don't think we're gonna be able to fit that in here, but I would love to. I just realized you guys can't see what I'm looking at. This, I really like this like arched bathroom look. I really hope that we can add something like this in there. I think we're gonna have to extend this room for that to happen. Okay, how are we gonna get this like arch bathtub thing? I think we're gonna have to close off this wall and then just add an archway that's like the whole wall. Something that we even have. Ooh, I wish we had this but larger. That would be perfect. <gasps> we do, requires taller wall height. Wait, why? Oh, it's too big anyways. This one is perfect. If only it was just like a little bit larger, it would be absolutely perfect, but it's just not large enough. I'm seeing a couple here that aren't. Oh, the bathroom's in there too. Carpet. Oh my gosh. What is going on with this bathroom? But do you see how this is not rounded and it has like these curtains coming down? I think we could try to do something like this instead. Okay. And then we get a bathtub in there. The tub was yellow. So I think I want to go for that. The toilet is not going to fit in there. So, I mean, if we open the wall up, it will, but then it kind of like defeats the, I mean, we could just cut it off with some curtains and like some pillars. Okay. Well, actually, what if we use some spandrels? Ooh. Okay. And then just for aesthetics, I think I'm going to add the little wall shower purely just for aesthetics. I know it doesn't function and a little yellow toilet. And I think we're going to go with this like aqua tile vibe. That is really fun. We also have this, which is kind of similar to the vibe of the room or this, which is really similar. Actually, I feel like if we did this, it would make more sense because then we could do like a, <gasps> oh, but if we did this, then we could do this around the rest of the room. I think I want to do this. I don't know why the ground is carpet. Let's just see though. Maybe it'll look good. Maybe it'll look bad. We could change it. That's the beauty of the Sims. I don't know about this yellow carpet business. <laughs> why would there be carpet in the bathroom? I simply cannot understand that. Maybe we do a white carpet and then we do tile in here. I just don't think I can bring myself to put tile where the bathtub is. I think I might need to put a wall back while I'm doing these curtains just because I feel like it's not gonna work otherwise. I would love to do some something with a pattern. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but I would like to do a pattern. This is kind of what the ones that I'm looking at look like, oddly enough. The red is a bit off-putting, but I think it's because the color of the walls that are in this picture that I'm referencing are a little bit more green. We need a pedestal sink, that's for sure. It's kind of like this one, honestly. The one that I'm actually looking at, the mirror, there's like, it's like a windowsill type thing that's going on. I just don't think that's going to work. I think we're just gonna have to do it this way. And it looks like they actually have a little seat, like an ottoman, so that you can like sit and do your makeup like a vanity. So I think I'm gonna add that, bring in some of that red. There we go. And one last thing that is a bit odd, there is a sofa of some sort in the bathroom. I don't know why, it, there just is. I'm not gonna argue, I will just do as I am told. It seems like a common thing because uh, it's in this one too. So it must be a thing that happens a lot. We don't really have many things in The Sims 4 that are like that. We have like this. I feel like this is the best we're gonna get. We're gonna make it yellow, I guess. And I'm gonna do some matching curtains on our little window here. With a little bit of off-camera cluttering, here is our 1930s bathroom all complete. I think it turned out okay. And that's really all I gotta say about it. <laughs> However, with our 1930s bathroom all complete, it, that means we have completely finished our every room's a different decade house. I think my favorite room in the house is probably the kids bedroom, but there's really no surprise there. But here is our house all complete. If you like this build and you want to download it for yourself, you can find it on the gallery under these hashtags, as well as my gallery ID is just Sim. And if you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff as it really helps out my channel. Make sure to check out the description to find all my other social medias where I post daily and my twitch where i stream every wednesday and friday and with all that being said i will see you guys next time bye big thank you to my members you guys are dope and swag and dope and swag thank you